John Davenport here with FullGravity.com, and it's another Let's Edit video. This week, I'm going to be going into a bit of detail on the detail slider. No pun intended, of course, but uh, I did get a question about it. And, you know, in my videos, I really do kind of, if even if I do it in the videos, I, I really kind of just gloss over it. I don't really explain what each slider does. And uh, that's mainly because it's a time aspect and you know I want to keep these videos short and so when uh, I, I kind of go over these things I like to you know go over something uh, in a little detail if it requires it so in this particular case I think we're just gonna focus on this detail slider I'll just really quickly you know do a couple quick adjustments here maybe bring the white balance up just a little bit and drop the exposure add a little bit of extra contrast Add a little bit of highlights here and some shadow detail, maybe a little clarity. So you can see this image is already pretty sharp. You know, I was shooting it with uh, my 55 uh, to 300 millimeter lens. It was shot at 300, f5.6, 1 25th of a second, and this was handheld. So, you know, it's actually a pretty sh slow shutter speed, and I, I did end up getting a pretty, uh, pretty good exposure here. So anyway, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to dive right into this detail tab. And the first thing you'll notice is the particular overlay that's brought up. So you have a box here, which usually it'll be zoomed in on something. If you click on it, it'll zoom out to the full photo. If you zoom in, you can drag around. I usually, if there's an animal or if it's a human or anything, anything with an eye, I will usually try and focus on the eye. But you'll want to find you know whatever element of the photograph there is that you think should be the sharpest part of that image and then kind of work with that. Um, and now what I'm going to do really quickly is just explain what each of these sliders does. We have the amount slider, a radius slider, a detail slider, and a masking slider. And then next week I'll go into the noise reduction area of this. But as far as the amount slider goes, it's just kind of a, you know, a hard and fast amount. You know, the more you apply, the more sharpening that is done to the photo. As far as the radius slider, as the name implies, it really determines how far out each area of the photograph that is being sharpened, sharpening is affected. So if you think about it, um, a really small radius will get some really fine sharpening at you know basically the pixel level. And then the more radius you apply, the wider that sharpening is applied. So you'll get some really stronger edge sharpness the higher your radius is. The detail slider is kind of a fine tuning of the radius slider, at least that's how I view it. Um, basically what that does is it takes the textures and it takes, takes the high frequency textures and the high frequency contrasts and it uh, determines how much of those two uh, add into the sharpening algorithms that Lightroom uses. So the more you apply, the more your image will be sharpened uh, based on these high intensity, high in, uh, intensity or high frequency um, areas of your photograph. If you have them down around zero, then that aspect will be applied less. And then your masking slider, again, this is another slider that will, is actually very important. And what this does is it determines where your photograph is sharpened in kind of a very um, over-the-top kind of way. And what it does is it, it will look at the different areas of your photograph and it will basically mask out areas based on how much there is to sharpen in each area. So the more you apply, the less of your photograph will be sharpened. So let's do this another way here. If you have hold down Alt if you're on a Windows or Option if you're on a Mac, you will then, as you use these sliders, get a different overlay for each one. For the amount slider, you get a black and white image. And the reason you get black and white is because colors can oftentimes create a fake sense of sharpness, um, especially when placed next to each other. So by having a black and white image, you really get, um, you know, just the cold, hard contrast. And that's what we're looking for when we're sharpening our images. 
Again, with the radius slider, this really shows you what is being affected, especially up here in the uh, box here. You can see all the way up at 3, that eye is very, very um, well defined. Down around 0.5, which is the lowest it'll go, you can barely see it. I'll bring it up maybe around 1.92 or something around those lines. Um, the detail slider, again, you can see here very well defined at 100 almost nothing at zero I'm gonna go right about in the middle there and then the masking slider as you increase it the image becomes more black anything that's black is ignored by the sharpening algorithm so what I'm gonna do is just go as high as I can um, until the background is is completely ignored because I want that background to be really soft I want the bird to kind of pop off the screen so that's basically where I'm gonna leave it for this particular image as always every image is different um, you wouldn't apply the same type of sharpening that you would to this particular image that you would to a bird for or a uh, landscape photo for example um, so it really is you know use your best judgment but once you know how each of the sliders works, and more importantly, that the Alt and Option key will really give you that added benefit until you get comfortable using them just by kind of feel, um, definitely use that Alt or Option key to give you um, the best ability and the best way to sharpen your images as you go. And I, I like to point out that even the sharpest lenses, you know, oftentimes you'll want to just tweak the sharpness just a little bit, just to add that little extra punch. Um, so it's a good thing to, you know, run this type of a thing through your workflow anyway. So I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much for watching these videos. I'll be back next week and we'll talk through the noise reduction aspect of the detail slider. And if you do have any other questions about Lightroom, let me know. I will find the answer out for you and I'll make a video about it. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to click like and if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I will see you again next week. Bye for now.